Teens kicked out of elite Catholic school for blackface are awarded $1 million by jury after proving it was just an acne mask. And without going into this, I think I know what this is. There was like this stupid TikTok trend. My wife bloody used it. It's like this black stuff you put on your face and when you peel it off, it's extremely painful because it like fuses to your skin. But it's meant to be great for your skin, not what I would know. I mean, <laughs> don't, I mean, this camera's not that best quality, but you can see... You know, I've got the, I've got the complexion of a salt flat, like so. I don't don't really know exactly know much about skincare, but yeah, I believe that I believe that this was part of that. Uh, two teens kicked out of their elite California Catholic school were fa uh, while falsely accused of wearing blackface have been jointly awarded more than one million dollars after proving it was just a green acne face mask. The then students at St. Francis High School in Mountain View were just 14 when they took a photo during a sleepover in 2007. Right, so they were like children. They were like... F I hate them. <laughs> That's just... <laughs> like... They're, they're like, they're like kids, I uh, just, whatever. Uh, took a photo during a sleepover in 2017 of them wearing the treatment in solidarity with a friend suffering from severe acne, their lawsuit said. What a nice, wonderful thing to do. I hope they were rewarded for their kind gesture. Uh, the treatment bought by one of the boys' uh, mums was uh, light green when applied and turned dark green once dry. I mean, I suppose I can maybe kind of see the green, but like, this is clearly guys like just, mucking about like if they were jumping around going ooga booga maybe like maybe then but like this is just kids fucking about there's boys being boys boys being racist boys uh, their innocent selfie went viral three years later when it was found and widely shared during the height of the black lives matter protests following the 2020 murder of george floyd a santa clara county jury agreed this week that the school breached an oral contract and did not give them due process before expelling them in 2020 according to the la times uh, the students identified only as A-H and A- and, uh, bruh, and H-H <laughs> uh, in the lawsuit were awarded $500,000 each and will have their $70,000 tuition reimbursed. This case is significantly not only for our clients but for its groundbreaking effect on all private high schools in California. Well, the California. I forgot where this was. Uh, which are now legally required to provide fair procedure to students before punishing or expelling them, said Krista Bauman, one of the attorneys for the students. <clears throat> in California, like, if the students, like, beat up a teacher because they took, like, their Nintendo Switch from them, ah, fuck, they would have been, that would have been fine. Well, it would have been fine uh, under a very specific circumstance. Uh, the jury rightly confirmed that St. Francis High School's procedures were unfair to our clients and that the school is not above the law. In a statement, AH's family said, We want to sincerely thank the jury and the court system for helping our boys and our families find justice, which now paves the way for their names to be cleared for things they never did. The lawsuit had initially sought $20 million. Uh, The jury rejected some of the boys' claims, including defamation and violation of free speech. I wouldn't exactly call it speech, this is a problem, as a lot of people like get speech confused with uh, expression, where I would say that speech is you literally saying a message, whereas expression is you conveying a message. I'm not getting into that today. Right, I mean, that's, just, that, that's a conversation for another time. Representatives for the school said they respectfully disagree with the jury's decision because of course they bloody would. They wanted to virtue signal and be nice and it's came back to bite them in the arse and are exploring legal options including an appeal. No, what happened was it was just a bunch of boys carrying on and doing what 14 year old boys do. I mean, let's be, let's be real, like a lot of them could be doing it. They could be out breaking into cars or like smashing windows or doing all that other stupid stuff, but instead their friend had acne and he had to wear an acne mask and they went, bro, let me try it too. Yeah, let me try it. Oh, look at us. Let's take a picture and they're all like, and it's like, they're not even like, there's not even like a racist pose or something like that if they were going, yeah, okay, then maybe. They're obviously just like, hmm, like one of them is even like Vogan. No, what's it called? Blue Magnum? Is that, is that the, is that the one from Zoolander? He's doing Blue Magnum. Right, that's, that's what's happening. This was just kids fucking about. And you had to make it this big massive thing. It was like, it was black. I saw someone paint their face black and it immediately, immediately made me think of a black man. Like, shut up. Shut I'm so fed up. Redraw borders. I'm sick of this stuff. I need a way for these people. I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm done.